violence of any kind, especially man on woman, is it's just not right. You know, it's not right. Shouldn't be tolerated. It's not right for society, no matter what. You know, that's something I stand by, and I have to pay for that. Well, we don't tolerate it, do we? <laughs> Most of us have now seen this gruesome video. You're seeing it now. Of football player Ray Rice punching his girlfriend unconscious. His career is probably over, but is the punishment appropriate? And how do we respond to his victim lashing out at the media? Hmm, it's a, a very, an open question. It's not just about famous people. This happens to, to, to many in society. Family law expert and lawyer Paul Cooper joins us. Um, it's difficult to get this one right. What he did was vile, repugnant, grotesque. He should be punished. I think he actually should have served some time in prison. But he, he got a sap on the wrist, really. But if he has dealt with it, if he has taken the right courses, if he is suitably contrite and has worked through the relationship with, with his, what is now his wife, he should never play again? He should be punished for the rest of his life? Well, it's not up to me to decide what the NFL is going to do. No, the your NFL, opinion is what we want. And, and my opinion is that whatever punishment the NFL imposed on him, when they got the information that we all have now, the information hasn't changed, the allegation hasn't changed, it's the same incident, that is what should stay. What he did was disgusting. Arguably, he should have had a lifetime suspension from the get-go. What, not... what about if he was a plumber? What about if he was a lawyer, God forbid? What about, I mean, should he not be able to work ever again? If he's involved in domestic violence, that's, that would be up to his employer. I would submit no. I, I, right. my, my, I, I would suggest that in this situation, it would be appropriate for him to have a lengthy suspension, mm -hmm. at least as long as Ben Roethlisberger, who was suspended for six games, which is shortened to four, when he was accused of rape. That's nothing. It's nothing. This should have been at least that long. But what disturbs me about this situation is normally when a punishment is imposed, there are certain allegations, and as new allegations come out, maybe the punishment will get increased. In this situation, the allegation is what... ...video that changed many people. Can we put the board up, I think, the statement of, of the woman he's now married to, as far, as far as I know, because she has... This is not unusual when it comes to domestic violence, and even the semantics of that, it changes all the time, but... There are women who are victims who do lash out at those people who attack uh, those who have beaten them. You speak to police officers, they will tell you they've gone to a, to a domestic situation and the women attack them for coming in to intervene. Not all the time, but it, it does happen. At the same time, though, if she's saying, stop this, we've worked through it, we're, we're, we're trying to become model parents and model partners and, and trying to improve... I know people will say you're being too soft on him, but I think if, if this was bank robbery or something, we'd be more forgiving. It's a terrible crime. He should be suspended. Certainly he shouldn't play for a year, maybe two, but to say now you're, everything will now change for you, but because of what may have been one incident, I, I find it hard to believe it was one incident, but it could have been. I agree with you. It might have been one physical incident. This is definitely a domestic, uh, violent relationship. Uh, there, there's no doubt that it has happened before. And her Instagram tweet or update is completely indicative of every victim of an abuser, in, whether it be it man it's not, or woman. It's not every victim. Some, vi so, some never want to see the Every victim again. of abuser that, has, that I'm involved with. So mm -hmm. in a litigation context, and in this situation, the litigation is, is public. Is, is yeah. the public. Uh, but this is the cycle. She's going to do this. She's addicted to him as, a, as, as an abuser in a relationship as much as someone would be addicted They've to They've been drugs. together since they were kids at school. And, she, and she's addicted to him. And the longer they're together, the harder it is to get away. Define that for me. What, what, she cannot get away from him. How do you know that? I've had countless clients, identical statements from the clients. As you mentioned, they say it to the police. They say it to family members. They make excuses. Getting punched out by a pro NFL football player, unconscious, and then being treated like a, a, a sack of dirt on the floor, kicked to see if you're alive, is not... A loving relationship. No, I think, and, and look, I think he's scum. Uh, I, I'm just trying to ask questions that other people I, I don't think will, and that is, are we are we making a particular case out of this man? You look, the NFL is a real problem. It has a problem with its reputation, with with the way some some players have behaved. You mentioned rape accusations. A suspension of four games. Four games. He wasn't uh, he wasn't charged. Mm. It was it was That's allegation. Okay, I'm not going to defend that. I've I've read the facts of that case. I have my own opinion. 
He was suspended for four A man who was involved in, in having dogs fight each other, a horrible thing, but he did time. That This guy doesn't even have a prison sentence, uh, Mike, a criminal sentence. And Ray Lewis, another Ravens player, was charged with second-degree murder. Yeah. <laughs> so, and he had the same lawyer as, Ms., uh, as Ben Roethlisberger. I think that the woman in this case, uh, whether she likes it or not, this is a very public incident of domestic abuse. And to the extent that the media is covering it, 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 it might inspire others. It might lead to uh, others to recognize how absurd their situations are. It is, to come out and defend this is, uh, is very sad. Reading that as somebody who reads these, who sees clients in my office regularly, who fights for children, and, and I could tell you the Child, uh, Children's Aid Society and, and similar agencies will apprehend children from families where she won't leave the abuser. And that isn't enough, that the woman will stay with their abuser even when the children are being taken away. So it, it is an addiction, and nothing will get it out, uh, out, out of her. There's not much we can do, but the media shouldn't stop covering it. You know it. there's a TV station uh, in the United States where one of the commentators said, well, the, the lesson of this is take the stairs, not the elevator. Incredible, but uh, we're out of time. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you.